Uh, this may not look like the most illustrious of football training grounds, but it is the home of Broadwater Farm United. You can see the under-13 side there training away hard, and these are illustrious times for them. Last weekend, they won the Waltham Forest League Cup. This weekend, they're hoping to make it the double when they win the league itself. And then next week, they head east, far east, hoping to clinch a treble when they take part in the Tokyo International Youth Tournament. How on earth have they pulled off so much success? Let's ask the man who founded the club, Clasford Sterling. Thank you very much for joining us, Clasford. Uh, so, you. how and why did you set up the club? Well, the club was set up in um, 1981 when the estate was uh, a troubled estate, you know, and um, football was one of the vehicles used to get a lot of the young, young people um, off the estate and, and something to do. You know, this is the old school ground and we used to have the school here and um, uh, the, through the council um, we used the, the old school gym um, until eventually our brand new community centre here is, is built. And, um, uh, the, the football has taken us to where we are today. We're you about, know? well, less than 200 yards from the estate itself. Uh -huh. This is more than football, though. It's about discipline as yes, well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, we, we, we are a very disciplined um, setup, and a lot of people come here, uh, you know, and can't survive maybe in our environment. But, you know, the one thing that um, we say here with the kids is that it, it's safe. We do not like bullying at all. All the kids come here, and even themselves are surprised with their parents that how disciplined it is, and um, they can develop in a very safe environment. Well, having seen you tell this lot to do some press-ups earlier, I can vouch for that <laughs> discipline. <laughs> Let's move on to Mickey here, Mickey Ambrose, uh, 2012 and Sport Ambassador. You're very much involved in getting this side to Tokyo. How come they're representing London this way? Well, we uh, had an invitation from the governor of uh, Tokyo following uh, the tournament in 2006 in Berlin. Uh, he was so pleased they brought the cup back. Um, he decided to host it himself. And uh, we nominated Border Farm for all the hard work Clasford has done and his coaches and also Haringo Borough. Um, and we thought we'd give the boys an opportunity to see uh, to pit their wits against San Paolo, Moscow, um, Beijing, uh, and all the others. Quite well, an impressive team. Let's move on to Kobe here, one of uh, your sons. And uh, so tell me, Kobe, you're going to be taking off some big sides when you get to Tokyo. How are you feeling? Nervous? Uh, well, nervous, uh, excited, and uh, you know, interested in their culture, really. Well, on that matter, uh, the culture, Riddle, let's ask you, do you like sushi? <laughs> Really and truly, I don't really know, but... Will you be trying some? Yeah, yeah. yeah you course, sure? Yes. And uh, what do you reckon your chance of coming back with some silverware? Uh, maybe winning it. That's the spirit. That's we it. like bold, we like confidence. <laughs> yeah. Listen, guys, uh, we, yeah. of course, wish you all the best. You're representing yeah. London. Let me underline that. They're representing London in this tournament. It would be nice if you came home with a trip, wouldn't it? it would... Oh, no, it'd be fantastic. You know what I mean? Because it's not just for us and the players, but for, for all, the, all the workers, the youth workers, neighbourhood management and Haringey that's helped yeah. us to be where we are today. Yeah. And Absolutely. we've got to thank as well British Airways, because yeah. it wasn't for the British Airways and the Caxton FX, we wouldn't oh, be able to I'd be very there. glad you said yeah. that. Yeah. Right, <laughs> uh, guys, we'd love to go on, but we're out of time. Okay. Thank you all. We thank wish you the best. Back to the studio. Thanks, Ben. <laughs> Brilliant. Fine young ambassadors. And for one publicly created company, the first bit of good news in about 10 days. <laughs> now, if you have children of a certain age, you will know all about the phenomenon that is high school music.